हेलो डियर डॉक्टर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर रोनक्षा कंसल्टेंट होम्योपैथ नो नीड ऑफ माय इंट्रोडक्शन एनी मोर एज यू ऑल नाउ नोज मी वेल एंड वाचिंग माय वीडियोस रेगुलरली एंड मेनी थैंक्स फॉर लाइकिंग एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन द सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर वी विल नॉट डिस्कस मटरी अमेरिका हेड टू फोर्ड हेयर आई विल टीच अप्लाई मटरी अमेरिका so today i will talk about antimony tart antimony tartaricum or tartar emetic as it is also called is a compound of salt of antimony and potash both of which substance depress the circulation hence you will expect to see symptoms due to this cause intensified under antimony tartaricum it causes more weakness of the heart and lungs than the does antimony itself this remedy finds its primary usefulness in severe cases and hospitalized cases this cases may be classified according to the system principally affected the respiratory system and the digestive system this remedy most frequently of use in affections of the respiratory system antimony tartaricum is the most effective for disorder of the lower respiratory tract it is specially useful for advanced stages of bronchitis bronchopneumonia or pneumonia also in a weakly children and old who appear to have no power to expel the respiratory tract mucus which makes an audible rattling noise as the patient tries to breathe it seems as if he will die so you can see in our repertory respirations abdominal antimony tart is three mark respiration accelerated paralysis of the lungs antimony tart three mark rattling sounds respiration rattling sound is audible that is antimony three marks asphyxia asphyxia neonatrum we use and that is also three mark so ness says that antimony tar is one of our best remedy for the hypertensions of the lungs after pneumonia first and the most important indication of antimony tar is that all complaints are attended with irresistible desire to sleep drowsiness as we have seen in the last video antimony crude all the complaints associated with the gastric problems the patient feels very sleepy and on closing the eyes he feels as if losing consciousness it is a form of sleepiness that is close to a comatose state and that is why in a repertory if you see chest inflammation bronchial troops sleepiness antimony tart is three mark so very difficult sometimes even experience homeopath to differentiate with epicac because the epicac often precedes antimony tartaricum in epicac has some of this chorus rattling but it is attended with a great expulsive power of the lungs there is more wheezing and nausea worse by vomiting and the tongue is clean so you can see the epicac in repertory three mark wheezing is there also the vomiting aggravation epicac is three mark so here as we have seen in antimony tart the chest is full of mucus but due to lack of expulsive power the mucus does not come out or only a small quantity comes up but it does not relieve him the tongue is coated with irresistible desire to sleep complete absence of thirst with the bronchial tubes thirstlessness antimony again three mark similar way in old broken down people who suffer from catarrh of the chest during the winter they had it for years and do not expect to be any better when the expectoration is yellow ammonia will be pulled them through and antim tar when it is white and attended with the prostration sweat coldness 
and blueness of the face. Second important indications, nausea, vomiting, coldness, prostration, sweat runs through the whole of this remedy. In disease of the intestinal tract, we find it is indicated with a nausea, with a great anxiety, irritation, tasting like a rotten eggs and drowsiness. The vomited matter are green and watery and sometimes frothy and contain food. The vomiting itself is associated with the trembling of the hands and is followed by drowsiness. Vomiting and purging may take place with every symptom of collapse, coldness of the uh, coldness of the surface, the hands and the feet are like ice. And the stools are profuse and watery. Here you have an almost perfect picture of veratramal, right? So distinction between two remedies is that veratum has a more cold sweat on forehead while antim has a more drowsiness. So we can see in a repertory the heat, perspiration with the coolness, veratum is a three mark. So in my practice my dear students and friends, I am using antim tart many times in a violent pain in sacral lumbar region which are gravitated from lifting and slight effort to move may cause writing and cold climate sweat. Extraordinary craving for apple. Here I remember one case of boy of 11 years old who came with a lower respiratory tract infections with a drowsiness, with a sleepiness and the parents has confirmed that he crave apple during the fever time and during this stage. Otherwise he doesn't like apple. So immediately the antimtart was given and the patient is improved. Another very important indication ill effects of vaccination when the thuja and silicia are not indicated can think about antimtar. So my dear students, I use antimtar 30 or almost 200 specific for impetigo and also it is useful for chicken pox. That's all regarding antimtar where I am using most in my practice. So my friends, a drop of homeopathy medicines can change the quality of life. We are changer in human's life. So keep faith in science and keep learning homeopathy. See you soon with the next remedy. Stay connected with me on YouTube. Stay healthy and safe.